Hey everyone, this is Charmaine from Fantastic Crafts. I hope all of you are having a fabulous day. Today I wanted to play with what I think everyone wanted to play with when they saw Creativation. Um, these are the alcohol pearls. And I was so, so excited when I saw these on uh, Tim Holtz, you know, showing his thing and doing it all cool and awesome. And I was like, oh my God, I need those in my life. And I, I bought them because I wanted to try them out. I mean, yeah, sure, I have all the all the alcohol uh, inks in the world, or, uh, but I needed these pearls. Um, and I will have to say, you need these pearls. <laughs> the alcohol pearls are very different. It reacts very similar similarly to the alcohol regular alcohol um inks but these have these very very nice like pearlescent sheen kind of awesomeness it is so beautiful in person i don't know if the camera could catch up on all that just like you know wink of stella how it's really hard to see on camera this is too so to begin i just wanted to play and i show you a lot of how i played this is a gorgeous color by the way i'm looking at it on my screen right now and i'm like wow i'm gonna have to make cards with those more cards with that color but um i just wanted to play and i kind of wanted to not use so much of my alcohol pearls because they're so gorgeous which makes no sense i know but uh, that's how sometimes i think so i mixed my alcohol pearls with my regular alcohol inks so um i would get a mixture of color but you don't have to do that you can use alcohol pearls exclusively with just alcohol pearls or you can mix it up that's also okay so i kind of mixed it up a little bit here and there so i just started with some colors and then I went in with my alcohol blending solution and I just kind of put some alcohol blending solution all over just to mix everything up a little bit and get those gorgeous cells that you see forming. I love seeing that cauliflower effect. It's similar to watercolor but this is much more intense of a deep, intense deep color. I did take my blending uh, sponge and I just kind of blended the parts that I didn't get all the ink. Um, and and it, some of the parts just didn't get ink and i didn't want to take up i didn't want to use up more of my alcohol pearls i know this is so weird isn't it i'm like why did i buy it if i don't want to use it but it's just so gorgeous i want to use it very um what is it called sparingly but um i shouldn't i should just use it but look how gorgeous that is i mean I'm dying here it is so beautiful like so 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 beautiful and you know I think I did a good job showing it on the camera but in person it is even more gorgeous I don't even know if that makes sense but I went ahead and did another one and by the way these are Yupo paper um, you can use any brand I don't really have any recommendation for a particular brand you know whatever you find on the market um, I've used different kinds maybe I'll do a comparison someday on exactly which ones to use but again I went ahead with these colors by the way these color names are really nice and they have these like fancy names and I don't really remember them but i will put it up on the description box <laughs> so if you want to know exactly the names of the alcohol pearls i just kind of wanted to see more of how how gorgeous they are in person because honestly i don't think you can really go wrong with the color it doesn't matter what color you get these are going to be gorgeous no matter what and you can make and mix your own colors too because when you put all these colors together including the alcohol just the regular alcohol inks you just get these different color transitional colors and it's just literally so gorgeous i loved it so again because i didn't want to use the product i bought to use um i went ahead and i whatever i had left over on my little dauber there i just kind of put it on another yupu paper and i kind of like this a lot um I, when I saw this, it really reminded me of roses, like roses blooming. You know how you do a watercolor wash and then have some roses on the background? And it really gave that subtle, uh, pearlescent, pink, soft look. And I really, really loved it. So uh, you can see I had some more of that blending solution on my uh, <clears throat> blending brush. So 
you can see how it's forming those cells and that cauliflower effect and I love it it is so pretty and this is all from what I had left over so I didn't have to use more of the product that I bought to use I just want to mention that <laughs> I should use the products I, I bought to use them not to just have them on the shelf but these are just so gorgeous and it, the shimmer on this isn't as much as the other ones obviously because this is just a leftover of whatever I had on that um, sponge so it really it's it's uh, not that shimmery but it still has a very nice sheen um i then just wanted to create and show you guys how i created some of these cards and i didn't do anything fancy i just wanted to play i love the backgrounds and i wanted to just be creative and make these start with these palettes um but then just play with it. I really, really loved how these uh, backgrounds turned out. I had a few stash of like just um, random pieces I've colored and and just little embellishments that I had laying around. And I decided I wanted to focus on having fun with these cards. So I still kept the main focus of the cards to be those backgrounds. Um, that's why I kind of decided to go ahead and matte the pieces and then also put it on a black cardstock or cardstock base because I really thought that would make the cards really pop. So I did that with, for all the cards and I did similar similarly. I Some of them I cut smaller, some of them I cut uh, larger. If I had some extra pieces, I kept those because I did use like those little thin pieces to add some embellishments. And as you can see like on the left there, um, that's a paper I had created uh, I don't even know when, but it was in my stash that I had played with uh, the oxide background or uh, the ox oxide background technique. So I really wanted to incorporate that because I just I, I really feel like layering cards, especially when you're making handmade cards, you really do kind of have to layer it because it just brings that card to another level. That's something you cannot find. So. I did that and then I just, um, the little piece that I have right there that I colored, I colored that with some alcohol markers and I wanted to also incorporate that because I wanted that green, the, the purple to pop and the green background to just kind of tie it all together. So I did that and then I also popped those little, I remember I said I saved those little thin strips. I popped those up so I can just give another dimension to my card. Um, and that's kind of what I did with all of them, just random things, very random but fun. Um, I did do, and I didn't show all the parts of me doing this, but I did take my die cut machine and I cut out a whole bunch of hello um, just with some scrap papers that I had. I used all black car stock because I, um, like I said, I wanted it to be uh, black and bold. So I wanted it to pop really well onto these backgrounds. Um, so once I did that, I kind of wanted to go into explaining how I de did these. Um, I'm sure it's nothing new, but it's just uh, a little tip and technique to doing this was uh, something I learned. Um, so I cut out a lot of the hello sentiments. And first, I uh, ran it through my, let's see, my Xyron sticker maker. And I did, well, let's see, I think I did eight or nine of them. And then I cut a whole bunch more, and then I layered those those um, other hello sentiments onto the hello that I already had on my Xyron strip sticker maker. And this helped me um, help the hello not move around, so I was able to put them all together. I also colored all of those with some Wink of Stella and then put some glossy accents on top and I let that dry and it has this beautiful shimmer that is almost highlighted with that glossy accent that I think was just gorgeous. Now that I had that, that first layer of hello on that sticker paper, I was able to just use this like thick embellish sticker embellishments. So then I just um, was able to put these sentiments right onto my cards without a problem. And it was it went by so easy. And I just felt like it was a really nice, easy, simple task to do and made it it was really fun. So 
I did go with some Nuva crystal drops and just kind of add a few embellishments here and there. And then I took some stickers that I had. It was some uh, a pack of Martha Stewart stickers, and I wanted to use those, so I used it and kind of made little scenes and and like the little birds. They have a, uh, the sticker set had a lot of birds, so I thought it would be cute to say, you know, Birdie is coming to say hello. So I thought it was really cute and I used it and I felt good about using it. Um, and it's something I've been trying to do, although with the perfect pearls, I'm having a hard time doing, but I'm trying to use what I have. And it's been a challenge because you just want to purchase more and more and then you have a lot of stash. And my goal for this year, and I know you guys are probably tired of uh, me keep saying this, um, but or hearing this, but I, my goal for this year is to really, really use what I have, and um, not really buy a whole lot before using what I have. Although, I've, I haven't been that great at it, but I am using what I have. So even though I am buying some stuff but I am also using what I have. So I just went with those uh, stickers and just kind of plopped it onto my background and it created these gorgeous cards. I loved it. I love how it came out. I love that little bits of accents that really make your card go to another level, like those stickers. Those stickers are gorgeous. They're like felt stickers, so it's, it's really nice. It adds dimension to your card, and then also it just makes it so much more special because you made that. That is your canvas right there. That card is your canvas, and it is your unique artwork, and I love that about cards. So I'm going to have some more pictures and closer looks of the, these cards. I hope you enjoyed this video. I I hope you enjoyed watching the perfect pearl just perfectly go and make perfect <laughs> backgrounds. Um, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell button right next to the subscribe button because then you will get notified of every video I create and upload. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye, guys.